murder investigation in Durham. Here's what's happening. Andrew Avenue, right where it connects with Main Street is the location. Anthony Wilson is just arriving on the scene. Anthony, good morning. What can you tell us? Well, good morning, Barbara and John. Pardon me if we try to move the camera. We just been speaking with a gentleman who had, in fact, come over here, sir, if you can. We didn't catch your name. What's your name, sir? Oh, where are you? All right, and you say your mother has lived here for several years and you're concerned about her safety? Yes, 33 years. So when you came and saw the police here, what went through your mind? The first thing that went through my mind was uh, make sure nothing hadn't occurred over here happened to her. Mm -hmm. She's okay, but we've heard there was a fight between three guys. One of them went to the hospital and died there. When you hear that, what, what do you think? For one thing, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. And that this community uh, has gone through a lot when it comes to the rising crime levels in this area. And we we're we're right across the street from the police station. We can see it from here. Right there, I can see the sign on the building from here. Mm -hmm. You know, and see, and, and I've called them before about the crime. And they basically told me, said, well, we don't have that many tr patrol officers for this area. Mm -hmm. You know, this is part of, I don't know whether this is part of Northeast Durham or not, but uh, I know this is about a 96 block area. I used to drive cabs in this town. I know this whole area mm -hmm. uh, quite well. But if you don't have enough uh, patrol officers in the area, then, you know, you get increasing crime rates. Well, at the moment, they are doing a homicide investigation. We haven't got many facts, but they're trying to figure out what happened. Are you reassured seeing them here? Well, this is sort of after the fact, ain't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sort, of, sort of after the fact, you know, because I know the residents of this community have complained before about a criminal element in the area, you know, so. I'm not surprised that someone got hurt, but I'm glad that it ain't none of the residents and I, my heart goes out to whoever got hurt there. But uh, it's just one of those things that I guess it's part of the community. And, and your mother is okay. She lives close to the scene, but she's okay. Yeah, she lives very close to the scene. All right. Well, thank you for speaking with us. We're going to try to find out what we can about here and you take care of your mom. All right. You thank you. Have a great day. All right, you too, sir. All right, so he has a relative right down the street from where this is happening, John and Barbara. And again, the police not saying a whole lot about what they know so far. But as I said, when I was talking to that gentleman, they came here and found there were three men who had a fight, two of them badly hurt, one of them in with not so serious injuries. But the two men who were hurt the worst went to the hospital. One of them died there. That's what we know so far. We're trying to get more facts from the police. When we get them, we'll bring them to you on the air and online. John and Barbara.